Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a video that I honestly didn't even have planned. But recently I have been getting question upon question about all of my piercings like where's your tongue piercing? Where's your smiley piercing? What happened to all of your piercings? And I have made videos on pretty much every piercing that I have slash have ever had. And I have even videos like when I would take them out and my reasoning for taking them out. But people still ask me all the time where certain piercings are and if I still have them. So in today's video, we are going to be doing an updated retired piercings for the year of 2021. Now the one piercing that I get asked about all the time, and I've had, I had this piercing maybe like four years ago now, and I think I only had it for like six months or something, but that is my smiley piercing. Where is my smiley piercing? Do I still have my smiley pierced? What happened to it? And the answer is no, I do not have my smiley pierced. I got that pierced about four years ago and I really only kept it for about six months. And when I got the piercing originally, first off, I really, really liked it. It was a lot of fun. I loved having it. But I told you guys in that video that that was a piercing that I wasn't going to have for a long period of time because I did have like a horseshoe CBR in my smiley when I got it pierced and it was constantly rubbing right here on my two front teeth. And I knew that if I had it for like a super long extended period of time that it was going to absolutely destroy my teeth. So I really only kept that piercing for about six months and then just decided to take it out. It was really just something that I wanted to get, that I wanted to try, you know, things like that. So no, I do not have my smiley pierced anymore. That is like the number one question I get all the time is where is your smiley piercing? Do you still have it? No, I do not. Will I ever get it again? Um, probably not. I think the only other like oral piercing I would get in the near future would be like my tongue web because that would be like a cute little like peekaboo piercing that only I could know about. The second piercing that I always constantly get asked about is my tongue. If you guys know, I have my tongue pierced for about eight years. That's kind of how I got started on YouTube is I would document my tongue piercing journey. I went through like the first five hours, day one, two, three, four, all the way up to a week. Uh, changing it for the first time, tongue jewelry collection videos, tongue try-ons, how to change your tongue ring, how to clean your tongue ring. Like I have literally, I've done so many videos on my tongue piercing and I did do a video, I think it's been about... I think it's been about a year since I've taken my tongue ring out, but I did do a video talking all about why I removed my tongue ring. If you guys watched that video, I talked about how my tongue ring was starting to affect one of my lower teeth, like the gum line behind on this tooth right here. The gum line behind it is, was really starting to recede and it was really starting to get painful. And I pretty much knew right away that it was my tongue piercing affecting that area. And I knew that I had to take out my tongue ring. Now it was very, very difficult to take my tongue ring out. It really didn't want to do it. My tongue ring and my tongue piercing was literally one of my favorite piercings that I ever had. I had it for eight years. I literally couldn't eat, talk, or drink without it. It just felt weird to not have something in my tongue, you know what I mean? So that video was very, very hard, and a lot of people were shocked when I took it out because a lot of people knew that my tongue ring was literally one of my favorites, you know? You can still see the scar underneath. Uh-uh. That is the scar. I do still have some scarring. No, I cannot fit um, a tongue ring through my tongue anymore. I can't fit any jewelry through my smiley anymore. Um, both of those piercings have closed up. And I'll never forget like the day when my tongue, tongue piercing officially closed up. It was such a bittersweet moment. That piercing has in fact been retired. Will I ever get it again? I don't really see myself getting a tongue ring anytime soon. Um, I don't see myself getting it pierced again anytime soon. Every time I'll post a picture on Instagram and I'll like have my tongue out or whatever, people will be like, oh my god, where is your tongue ring? Like, ah, oh, what happened to it? And it's like, you guys, I made a video on it. So uh, that piercing is definitely retired. And another piercing that was literally just recently retired and it was not done on purpose. Uh, it was a total accident. But on this ear right here, you can see I have my first three lobes done. Uh, I will be doing a video on stretching my second lobes because I know a lot of people have been asking me about that. But I do have my first three lobes done. I have a tragus, I have a conch, 
Rook, two forward helixes, and then just a regular helix over here. Well, if you guys remember, right below this one, I had a second helix right here. And it was, that one was always a bitch. I mean, even this one still, years later, will give me trouble every now and again. And it'll just get really angry and flare up. My body does not like helix piercings at all. So anyway, I had, and you can still see like the scar of where it was. But I used to have two helixes right here. And for whatever reason, I... I don't know if I was getting out of the shower because every time I get out of the shower, I always take a Q-tip and I always go around each of my piercings just to kind of suck up any water so water's just not like sitting under one of the piercings, you know what I mean? So I was just out of the shower, you know, Q-tipping, getting all the water out, and I noticed I was like, wait a minute, where the hell did that piercing go? And I started like freaking out. I started looking all over the place for like the jewelry. I was like, did it fall out in the shower? What the hell? And then I went to go put another piece of jewelry in there and it was completely closed up. So unbeknownst to me, this helix piercing must have fallen out like a while ago and I just didn't notice it. I mean, I did think it was kind of weird when my ear started to feel better. I was like, huh. I was like, this ear isn't that, it isn't as angry as it usually is. What like what the hell happened? And sure enough, that helix piercing decided to retire itself. So everything on this ear is all the same, like nothing is new or nothing is missing. I do really still want to get more ear piercings because I'm the type of person where I absolutely love the look of like full blinged out ears. So I definitely still want to do that. I also had my nose pierced on this side. And I didn't really like the placement of it after it healed, so I decided to take that one out and I got it redone a couple millimeters back. I still have two on this side. I have one here. I still have a septum. Um, my newest piercing is my um, Medusa Filtrum piercing. This one is like one of my all-time favorite ones. I still have my belly button pierced, but my smiley, my tongue, this helix piercing are the top three that are retired. My Monroe is retired, my eyebrow is retired, this nose piercing is retired, uh, but everything else I still have and I still love and I still want to get more piercings. There's just a bunch that I still really want to do. I just don't have the time right now because I work like 50 hours a week and like there's no time. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not changing. <laughs> I still very much like them. I still very much love them. It's just things are busy in my life right now. Like that's all that I have for this quick little video, this quick little update on all of my retired piercings. Really hope that you guys enjoyed this quick little video. If you did, make sure you go down and give this video a huge thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel and you are a piercing fanatic like myself, make sure you go down and hit that red subscribe button. I do upload every three to four days here. But as for the rest of you, I love you guys oh so very much. Let me know down in the comments what future piercing content you would like to see here on my channel because I have really been hurting and missing to do content like that. So let me know what you would like to see and I will see you very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye!